Hey everybody, it's Ivy, and today we're gonna be doing a hair video. So, the look we're doing today, this is a flip over. I wanted to create a flip over method that was a little bit more simple, a little bit um, easier, and a little bit faster. So this basically consists of a U part that's sewn on, and then the flip over part in the front is crocheted. So I'm gonna show you guys the braid pattern, how I made the U part, how I installed it, and all of that good stuff. And I know what y'all came for. Just give me a second, I'ma let you know. So this hair is from Curls Queen. Okay, you guys, so I pulled up the details so you guys have them exactly. So this is their Natural Black Water Jerry Curly Bundle Weft, and I have it in the 3C 4A hair texture. And I have to say that this texture matches my own down to a T. Like I don't have to put any heat on my hair for extensions like this. This is literally like my hair, but a whole lot of inches, okay? So what we have installed is three bundles. We have a 26, a 26, and a 24. Now while this may not look super long, you guys, this hair is super long. It's just shrunk, okay? And I did wanna do it with a little cute flip over. With this method, you can also wear it half up, half down. You can kinda of wear it like all down. You really don't have to wear it in its flipped over look. You can wear it, you know, all different types of ways. So I literally woke up and I was like, hmm, I really wanna try out this method. You guys, it was a success. If you're a person that want a flip over and you just don't have a lot of time, you don't have to, you don't wanna do all the sewing, you don't wanna do all the cutting. The flip over can be hard if the master isn't doing it. I'm joking y'all, but yeah, the flip over can be a little complicated. So this method makes it really easy and hopefully more people will try. This looks like my hair. I just look like one of those lucky girls who have all this beautiful, full, thick, long, natural hair. If you guys are interested in seeing me install and style this hair, please keep on watching. So we are getting ready to do a flip over sew-in. I cannot take the tension of a traditional sew-in anymore. So today we're gonna be making a U-part and then sewing that on, and we're gonna be doing our flip over method, but I'm gonna be using a crochet method this time. So the hair I'm gonna be sewing in today is from Curls Queen. They have some awesome curly hair. So we got our bag of goodies. So this is what we came for, the hair, okay. Okay, you guys, so this is the water jerry curly hair. Here are the curls up close, very juicy. It definitely reminds me of like my own natural hair. So the first thing you're gonna need is a dome cap. You can use whatever wig cap you can find, but these work the best for me um, when making U parts, and this is how the dome cap material looks. And you also want a white permanent marker. Okay, I got this from Amazon or somewhere. And you're just gonna go ahead and put on your cap. So what you wanna do is feel for that perimeter braid. So I'm just gonna mark my cap right where my perimeter braid is. This is gonna be your guideline, okay? And this is just where you're gonna lay your tracks, all right? And then we're gonna make a U. And then the cap is gonna go on a mannequin head, okay? So this is like the back of our unit, and I'm just gonna um, go ahead and add the lines for you to follow with your tracks. This is the back of the cap, and we're gonna start our first weft here. And in the front, we're gonna also just add the tracks straight across, okay? All you have to do, so this method may be easier for people who can't do the uh, traditional flip over. So this is our first bundle, 26 inch, and it's a lot of hair on this weft. So the thread we're using today is nylon thread. I love to use nylon thread when I'm making wigs and U parts because it's so strong, so long lasting, your wigs literally won't fall apart. So definitely invest and use some nylon thread. And a curved needle is 
a must. I can't use any other needles. Curves make it easiest, the fastest. I love it. And you wanna make sure it's a little knot at the end of your thread, okay? So our first weft is gonna be right here. So you wanna start your weft at the end and I'm just gonna go through a few times and create a knot. And the reason you do this is so your weft is secure and they won't move around. So you just wanna do small, tight stitches. And I forgot to tell you guys, you do need to pin your cap down so it doesn't like scoot around as you sew in your tracks. I forgot. Now ending your weft, you wanna make sure you do a really good tight knot just like you did in the beginning because you want this to be secure. You don't want your weft to slide. You want your U part to last a long time. I'm gonna continue to sew all of the wefts in until I get to the U shape at the top. So we have our guide. There's nothing else left to do but sew. So I'm gonna speed up the video and I'll see you guys when I'm at the top. Just gonna place it on our head. Everything fits perfectly. What I'm gonna do is start on my right side. This is just how I always do my hair. And I'm just gonna put that weft right over my braid. And I'm taking the stitch through the cap and my braid. So I'm gonna sew around my entire perimeter. Now we're just gonna do a light stitch across the front. Okay guys, so everything is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. It's like a regular sew-in, just quicker. Here's our little crochet needle. So what you wanna do is go underneath your braid, take a little bit of hair, put it into the crochet needle, Bring it through. Let that camouflage our braid. We're just gonna keep doing this until we camouflage the entire perimeter braid. This is why you wanna make your perimeter braid not too tight because we do wanna be able to comfortably crochet through that hair. As you guys can see, after crocheting the hair, it is like a traditional flip over, but it's super seamless. Y'all see that? I think blending is gonna be super easy. So I'm just gonna spray water because this hair really matches my own. 
texture amazingly. Just putting a little bit of gel in my hair just so it can stay tamed a little bit. As you guys can see, the hair is humongous. I need to co-wash it. I can't do it on camera. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and go um, wet it down and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna attempt to define the curl. This hair is actually wet. <laughs> it's actually wet and um, I did use almost all three bundles. So if you decide to get this hair, do not use all three bundles, okay? Too much hair. So I'm gonna use that same Aussie product and just apply it in the hair. This is the Jerry Curly Hair. For a defined look, you're gonna have to use product in this hair. So I'm just going through and adding some product. The leave out blends to a T. You definitely need product for this hair or it's just gonna be a big afro. And I'm sorry if I look like a little oily and stuff, y'all. I've been working all day with this hair. I've been doing my hair since eight this morning. I had to make the unit, install the unit, all that good stuff, record. I am tired, okay? I'm loving it. I definitely love this natural look. It just looks so realistic and pretty and the curl definition on the hair is amazing. Now, one thing I would say, if you're gonna get this hair, don't get three bundles. You only need two bundles. I feel like I have too much hair, but if this is the look you want, get three bundles. If you guys are interested in this hair, make sure you check the description bar below. Links, details, all that good stuff will be down there. I hope you guys enjoyed this crochet you part flip over. I don't really know what I'm gonna make the title, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this method. Please don't forget to thumb me up, comment below, and subscribe. I will see y'all on the next video.